When I first started painting, I was like, I'm going to be a photorealist, you know, and it's, everything's going to be tight and perfect and pristine. And then I realized how just exhausting that is. And then I really started to look at Manet's work. I fell in love with just how buttery and thick it was and how effortless it became. And John Singer Sargent, you know, just absolutely effortless. I wanted to have my paintings then have this kind of just like they, they just appeared on the canvas and, and you know it's just like a simple stroke means so much. I think the self-portraits helped my painting evolve because they allowed me to just do things that I think I would feel uncomfortable doing with like a larger composition. They allowed me to just kind of experiment and be silly and just take a simple idea like I'm gonna paint myself with a peach because I'm excited for the new Animal Crossing game to come out. And a lot of the floral backgrounds from the self-portraits, a lot of them actually are uh, sheets that I've gotten from my grandmother's house. I think that had a big impact on me when, when they had to move out and then when they passed away. And so a lot of the objects and the backgrounds of my paintings and a lot of the patterns and stuff come from knickknacks and, and patterns and you know fabric that they had in their house. When the paintings aren't me, I feel like I can manipulate the figure more. Like I'll use myself for reference, but I don't have a model. So I can kind of like distort the figure more and kind of manipulate the body to fit the composition that I want it to fit. I'm not like being dishonest by changing somebody's hair color because there is no actual person that I'm referencing. They're innocent, they're sweet, but there's also like this hidden anger or violence or, you know, something kind of disturbing. But I like it to be a little more subtle and you kind of have to explore a narrative a little bit and be like, you know, this kind of is not right, you know, something's going on here. My work is about my own experiences, I'm painting from my own body, so they are speaking to my experience as, you know, growing up and what I was dealing with with my body image. And so it's, it's a layer in, in the layers of concepts within there, but it's not like the main focus of the work. I've always been really attracted to the Golden Age Dutch still lives. I took several classes, you know, in the Dutch era of works, you know, in school. And my parents own a greenhouse, so I've always been around flowers. They started as kind of just a dorky exercise. And then I just I started to get more and more attached to them. And I started to kind of draw my own compositions and looking at like the micro compositions within these huge, like, you know, bouquet still life paintings that say like Rachel Roish does. So I started to isolate those and make up my own and it's a really, it's, it's been just kind of like a dorky exercise, but they've been really fun and really indulgent. During school, I tried to really put up the front like, no, I'm a badass and, you know, but inside I'm really timid and sensitive. And I think maybe you can kind of see that in my work. I have this ideal vision in my mind of what it would have been like to live in, you know, post-impressionistic Paris, you know, being like Manet with his little groupies of young artists who, who are gonna pave the way for post-impressionism and being able to just paint and say like, you know, screw the academy, I'm gonna do my own thing.